So really, we start taking measurements. I want to take uh, basically get a basic floor plan of what this room looks like. Um, we basically are going to go right around in a circle. So we have our first shot. I'm going to kind of start the corners and work my way around, and you'll see what happens. Now, notice down here this target is not. Uh, there's two different things you can do. You can lock it or you can just look at it and I'll show you what the difference is that. The other thing too is now that we're actually in the measurement uh, viewfinder, um, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, um, you can change the brightness if you wanted to change the brightness if you're in a dim room. You can click this which will, it'll actually remember the points and you'll see that in a second. This is if you want to like offset a point if you can see the bottom like the other just a minute ago and couldn't see that coat. Um, and then if you want to take a sh camera shot, you can just click this, takes a shot, remembers for later. Um, go back. This is if you want to like invert the colors, um, say you have a hard time seeing that point, you know, now it kind of gives it a, a little bit better of definition. It's kind of hit and miss on that one. I'm going to change that back. And then this one I'll show you a little bit after I start taking some points and we'll see kind of how it works. So I'm just going to take this first shot. Now, if you notice, I, I did that lock thing before, and it kind of brings us to this point right up here. Now, that can kind of be annoying going back and forth between this screen and the view screen, especially if I just want to go around the room. So I click this again, and you can see the point that it was remembered with that setting. And I'm going to click it so that it locks. Now what's going to happen is I can I'm going to go to the next corner. The, night, or the thing that you need to remember is to kind of go either clockwise or counterclockwise. I go clockwise because that kind of makes sense. Um, around the room, you don't want to be like taking random points all over the place. Um, I just kind of work my way right around, so I'm going to take this other corner. Now, I'm not being as precise as I would be in the field, um, but you kind of will get the gist of it. So now, because this was locked, it's keeping me in the view screen, so I can kind of keep going around. So I'm going to go to the other corner. Sorry, my uh, unit's kind of in a weird spot, so it kind of looks a little funny. But uh, where are we? And I'm just grabbing and holding the mouse, which would be the same thing you would do if you had a finger on your touch screen. Now here's the other corner. I'm going to kind of try and keep it the same level. It doesn't really matter, but um, the job I just did was like countertops and I kept it all at 30 inches off the finished floor. I'm going to take that shot so that uh, you know, so that we're when they're scribing the counter and it'll be the right spot. So I'm kind of doing the same thing with this ceiling. All right, now I'll just going to show you what's happening in the background. You can see I'm on point number four. If I undo this, you can kind of see what's going on. So that was the first point I took. Second point. Now here's the fourth one that I got. I think the first one was the, the zero point that I took. And now as I'm going around the room, you can see that it's kind of locating the disco. Um, it's kind of drawing it. So I'm um, going to go back and keep locating the corners so you can kind of get an idea. Now this one I'm going to manually turn uh, for speed. I don't know if I can reach it. Actually, before I do that, I'll show you this. This is another feature. This might be better. I'll just rotate it. Now you can rotate this at any angle you want, or 90 degrees, or whatever. Kind of automatically rotates it. I'm going to do that one more time. Do another, say, 30 degrees. Come on. Maybe it's silly. There we go, with that red dot. Okay, so there's the other corner. Now that's kind of far away so we can zoom in and that's a pretty good spot. I'm going to shift it over just a little bit. Take that shot. Nope, I forgot to hit the lock screen, but you know, we're coming right around. Um, lock that this time. Do the same thing. Rotate. Now if I was in the field I'd be doing this manually because um, it's right next to the unit, um, but because I'm kind of far away and doing this demo it's yeah, because that's kind of weird. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go this way. This is my basement, so forgive the mess. OK. 
Come on. Okay. That's the other corner lot. Yep. I'm going to take this point. It's all kind of quick. And I'm going to rotate this. Another angle. Negative 60. Or 60, I mean. That should get me close. Now this is the point that we start with, and it should be, it should be red. There's the point we started with, and I'll just I'll finish that point out. All right, and click OK. I'll go back to. So you can see there's kind of the outline. Now the room kind of goes back this way, and goes back that way.